I'm going crazy. I have just been taping, but I wasn't taping because I went to stop it and it wasn't even on. So let me show you this. Um, this is a smaller one. Um, I was wandering through Michael's and I came across these um, needlepoint hoops. And I thought it would be really cute to do an ocean scene in them. I was wondering how I could do that. So I have this silicone mat. And what I have done is, and you know what? I have another silicone mat. So I'm just gonna move that one aside and show you quickly what I did. Where are you? Oh, it's brand new. Still in its packet. So let's check that you're in. I'm gonna adjust my camera a little bit so make sure that you're you're in. Sorry, I know it's it's shadowy because it's so cloudy today. Anyway, so I got my hoop. Um, couldn't go around the outside because of the bolt. So it's gonna be kind of like a porthole. I took a glue gun and I went around the entire, my little stand out of the way, entire inside of the hoop. I've got some resin left over, so I may as well do two. I'm making sure that I don't leave any gaps because you know what resin's like. Give it an inch and it's going to take a mile. So I'm trying to do this as neatly as possible. But then again, I mean, there is going to be kind of a front and a back because of the sand. So if this glue is to be seen at all, it will be seen fractionally from the back. Okay, no gaps, no gaps. There's a gap. All right, keep going on. It's, Kelly, it's much easier if you just... Oh, I ran out of glue stick. Put another glue stick in. Right, so that's what I did with the other one. And what is that? Something's fallen in the other one. I have been doing lots of glittering today as well. Let's just pop this. I've got another thing over here. Oh, big hair in my other thing. Um, all right, there's some glue that's fallen across. All right, so that's glued all the way up. And then what I did was I just poured in a very thin layer of clear resin at the bottom, which will also ensure that it is completely sealed around. And then I'll just spread this out. Make sure it's all up to the edges. So this is gonna be super cute. Little porthole. And I have to say, this is going a lot smoother than I was expecting. I thought I would be literally running around trying to catch the resin from all over leaking. But no, it's fine. The hot glue did the trick. So that is the first layer done. Up to all the edges. Go around. Pop the bubbles, and once that's dry, tomorrow, come and do the beach scenes. 
So the first layer of resin, which I only put like a really thin layer just to make sure it was completely sealed, has dried. And um, on because they're portholes, I'm only going to have really small speeches. And I have some sand here mixed with glue all, which I'm going to put just at the very bottom. I really, because I want these really to be about the um, scene of the ocean rather than um, like one of my usual beachy scenes. So it only needs a little tiny amount. I'm just going to spread that out. And it'll smooth down. I'm going to get rid of this in a minute. I'll show you how I do that. I want to follow the curve of the porthole. like so and I'm going to use this as the hanger so that's why the beach has to be directly underneath it okay great so how I'm going to clean up the other sand is very easy. I'm just going to get some paper towel, spray some alcohol on it. Take my finger. And just wipe it like that. And then I'm going to do it again to make sure it's all clean and neat and tidy. Yeah, turn it around to give myself better. Get that off. I'll take another piece. Push that in. That's my beach. So I'm going to let that dry. Um, I'm going to work on the other one off camera. You don't need to see me do two. Um, but I'm going to let that dry. I will add some shells and some, maybe just a couple of little shells and a tiny starfish. When that's dry, we'll come back and do the rest. Um, I am going to, I am going to do a horizon line and, um, an ocean line, but it's all going to be done transparently. So that's good. That definition is going to be very subtle. And I'm going to draw a little sailboat on, uh, paint a little sailboat on the first layer too. I'm going to continue along with the portholes. I thought what would be really beautiful is to get a nice chain and hang them in front of a window. I'm just putting on my gloves because then you could literally see through them. I'm trying to take them off this, but it's going to be a few more days. Why are my hands so sticky? Don't you just hate that? Okay, so I'm going to continue on with the portholes. I've mixed my resin and I only need a very small amount. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to mask off a sky area because I want to paint a little boat in the distance. So let's see, where do I want my skyline? Rule of thirds. Mm, yeah. 
Yeah, I've got to make sure it's straight. Without getting my big head in the way. I sanded these down, by the way. I always feel that it gives the next coat a much nicer surface to grip onto. Okay, that's a sky for the um, masking for that one. So all I'm doing today is the sky. I'm gonna wait for that to dry before I paint the boat. No, I'm not gonna paint the boat. I'm then gonna do the ocean. And once that's dry, then I'm gonna paint the boat. Okay, masked off. Right, so as I said, I did sand it down. And after sanding, I took my alcohol and gave it a blast and a rub, make sure there was no dust on it. So now I have my blue. Um, this is the blue I'm going to do for the sky, but I'm gonna start very light. and then add a little bit more as I go up to the top. So, make sure that's well mixed in. Well, the sky has dried. I had a little bit of a nightmare, just to warn you in case you do this. So I was going to wait several hours and then peel the masking tape off. I forgot. And it was so like stuck on there that I had to take an X-Acto knife and cut the tape off, which is fine because, um, I'm now gonna do the ocean, but I can't do that with the ocean. So I'm gonna to have to set an alarm and come back in about four hours and take the tape off. Because otherwise it will be ruined. And then I sanded this down. So I am just going to mask off the sky now. Just take this off, it'll be easier. And I'm also going to use four different blue ink, blue inks, because I want the horizon line to be like really dark and um, the Bombay inks are not that dark. So I'm actually gonna use calligraphy ink just for a really thin line at the horizon and then I'm going to let me what can I show you um well I guess this I don't know if you've seen these and then I'll graduate it down like this down to the sand but then I also found another ink that I'd forgotten I had which is actually a turquoise so um I'm going to see what that looks like um, so let's mask off this and I'm going to go just above that scratch line, although, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then when the ocean's dried, I um, will take this off and paint the uh, sailboat. All right, let's do this.
to hold back or hide from the light. I hate to turn up out of the blue, uninvited, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it. I hope you'd see my face and that you'd be reminded. Come back tomorrow and do the next stage. Now I painted on the boats and birds. I decided to repaint over the boats and make them white because they look too dark. I'm going to add one more coat of resin. Very, very, very thin coat. Just cleaning up because I've been sitting on my studio floor for a day or two days actually. So just going over a bit of alcohol and then here is the resin. And I'm gonna spread this with my fingers because I want it to be a very, very thin coat. That's done, we'll, that'll settle down, it's self-leveling and we'll come back when they're dry and I'll hang one up. And they are finished. Let's show you some detail. So, lovely. Anyway. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.